Imagine a world where a doctor could send you home with a little device that monitored what was happening inside your body in multiple different locations. And using that information, the doctor could tailor the treatment for your disease specifically to you. This is actually not that far out on the horizon. No sci-fi. <laughs> I'm working to design the next generation of at-home wearable monitoring systems to better manage and treat chronic diseases like migraine and Parkinson's disease. Okay, that one's done. And then let me start this recording. The device on the stomach is tracking your heart rate and your digestive activity. And then the one on the ankle is tracking your fight or flight reflex. And it also has another accelerometer to track movement. So right now, I am my own alpha tester, and then my beta tester is my husband. I don't think he had much of a choice. <laughs> you can't really relate to your doctor how you feel throughout the day in a 20-minute doctor's appointment. But if you have the ability to, to get data 24-7 that's relevant, the doctor can actually get a snapshot of what that person's lived experience is, which is a much richer picture of what's happening. My very first research mentor from undergrad, Dr. Sri Sarma, is an alum of the FWIS Fellowship herself from 2008. So when I walked into her office for the first time, I actually saw the award on her desk. And I could see the L'Oreal logo and I had no idea what it was, but I was just like, dang, if you're a really cool scientist, apparently like makeup companies give you awards too. Like that's literally what went through my like 18 year old head. She continues to be a huge role model I saw myself in her. I saw what I could be in the future in her. I think representation makes all the difference. I mean, for me, all it took was one person. I would love to be that person for even one other young person. If nothing else, I think that's as important a part of legacy as the actual scientific work. <laughs>